Hello everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. So, just because it's Easter doesn't mean you don't have to cook, right? So, I'm doing some stir-fried cabbage. I love stir-fried cabbage. Got a little onions with it. I'm cutting up my fresh garlic over it now. And I'm going to have some salmon with it with some sautéed onions. So I thought I'd jump on again because um, I get some requests for cooking more frequently and making sure that I um, show the demo and not just the after result and the food and how I'm cooking it. Hey, Brian Harris. Hey, Tanika. How are you? Happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter. So I'm just cutting up some garlic over my big old pan of uh, my wok that I'm going to stir fry some cabbage. And I already have a piece of salmon sitting in the pan. I already seasoned it and I already cut it up because I didn't want to waste time. Showing you guys me cutting cabbage. No point, right? <laughs> you don't need to see me cut the cabbage. You just need to see me cook the cabbage. So, um, again, just show you some of the products I'm using. I switched over to avocado oil this week. Um, sometimes I use whatever cooking spray, but avocado oil is health healthier than a lot of them, so I use that. Um, I'm doing a sweet uh, chili glaze over top of my salmon today, so this is what I use for that. Um, of course, you, knew, you know I use my turmeric, so I have I sprinkle everything with turmeric. My salmon, my cabbage, everything gets a little bit of turmeric because it's good for you and building your immune, immune system. Um, I wanted to show you this, even though I use a little bit of this for my um, cabbage, but it's Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic. So I'm going to get my double dose of garlic today. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, um, Tejula. Happy Easter to you too, sis. I said healthy eating doesn't stop because it's Easter. I still got to cook healthy, right? So just showing some of the things that I've been using. I picked up some new stuff. So I picked up this um, pink Himalayan salt. This is way better than your regular salt, guys. So if you have to have some salt in your diet, this is the one you want to you use. And that's why I bought it so I could show you guys. The pink Himalayan salt is way, way better than just using your regular table salt. Hey, uh, Trish. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Deborah Bynum. Bill ups. Hey, girl. Hey, Rodney. Hey, Sheila. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, also, this is another seasoning that I got. This has everything. It's called Butcher's Blend, but you can use it on everything. And it has sea salt in it instead of your table salt. So I always talk about cooking without salt. If you have to have salt, I bought a couple options so I could show you guys that, you know, you can still season your food if you have to. If you're somebody that has to have salt, then you want to use like sea salt. Or you want to use the Himalayan pink salt. That's going to be healthier for you than just some table salt. But this is really good. It has sea salt. It has spices, garlic, paprika, thyme, onion, celery, seed, um, rosemary, and dill already in it. It's like a. It looks like a rub, but it's really not. I pinch it and put it over top of everything. So it's a nice seasonal blend to put on your meats especially. Um, and then today I'm using a little bit of less sodium soy sauce because I like my a little bit sprinkled over my cabbage so um, that's what we're doing today I'm doing cabbage and I'm doing a grilled salmon I already put the um, butcher's blend seasoning that I just showed you I just put that on the salmon with a couple onions on the side I haven't started that yet um, so I'm gonna start that now again for those who just tuning in I'm using avocado oil just as my base in my pan Hey, Israel, how are you? Hey, Sheila, thanks for tuning in. Hey, Teresa, thank you for tuning in. Happy Easter, everybody. Just showing a quick meal again. You can still have quick meals. Um, you can still eat healthy, even if it's a holiday. You know, you don't have to go in and go hard. You can still have a delicious meal. Um, for my starch, I'm actually doing a microwavable rice, y'all. I'm cheating today. But this is really good. It's called Steam Fresh. I love these because they get done in like between four and six minutes, depending on your microwave strength. But it's whole grain brown rice, whole grain brown rice. And so it's really quick. After the rest of my food gets done, I pop this in the microwave for four to six minutes. And then I'm going to use some quinoa. I don't know if you guys remember the last time, but here's my quinoa. I had some left over. If you watched my video the other day, I had a whole bag of quinoa. I don't let that stuff go to waste. It's too expensive. It's too good for me to throw away. So I put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to warm it up and mix it with the um, whole grain brown rice. Happy Easter, everybody, whoever's just tuning in. Hey, Danita, how you doing, sis? Thanks for tuning in. So, of course, y'all know I got my glass of wine, too, right? I always got my glass of wine. <laughs> so, I got my Riesling today. But, yeah, just going to do some stir-fried cabbage, and I'm doing a piece of grilled salmon here. My family already ate earlier, so they like, we good for now, but they'll tap some of the cabbage later. They love the cabbage. 
So I'm just starting my salmon. Again, this meal will probably take about 15, 20 minutes um, to, to get done. The salmon will get done probably before the cabbage. I leave the cabbage a little firm because remember with your vegetables, you want to, you know, you don't want to cook them, overcook them because if you overcook them, it's pointless. You are just taking away all the nutrients if you, you know, if you, if you cook them too long or make them too soggy. So I keep my cabbage firm. So right now I'm just letting it start to fry. When it starts to fry, it'll shrivel on down to almost nothing. You know, you know how that goes, right? Hey, cousin. Hey, Del Perry. How are you, family? Happy Easter to you, too. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. How's everybody doing? Did you guys have virtual church this morning? Is that what you did? I know my mom. My mom's upstairs, and she's listening to her service right now. That's what she's doing. And I think uh, hubby had his service earlier today, too. So everybody's getting it in today, taking all the excuses out, right? So you can still thank God for, virtual, for the virtual world, because if we didn't have the virtual world, what would we do? We would really be losing our minds, wouldn't we? Hey, Shakima, how are you? Hey, Natasha Mayo, we just stir frying some cabbage with some, um, some raw onions and some fresh garlic. And I was just showing everybody some different options that they can use because a lot of people love salt. I got so many inboxes of people saying, but I can't stop using salt. I, need, I feel like I need salt. So I showed them the option is for the Himalayan pink salt. This is going to be way, way better for you than regular table salt. The sodium in this is gonna be less than your regular table salt. But this is the Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic already in it. So I'm getting a double dose of my garlic because this is what I sprinkled over top of my cabbage, okay? And then I do use a little bit of less soy, um, less sodium soy sauce just to moisten it as it starts to fry down. I like it just for the, a little bit of the flavor. Um, and that's it. That's all I do. Um, no oils or nothing like that other than that avocado oil that I sprayed the wok with um, in the beginning. That's it. That's all I use for, for seasoning the cabbage. No meat is necessary. Let me tell you, my family tears up my cabbage. They love it. You could even add some carrots to this if you like to, to make it even better. And then, of course, I have a piece of salmon over here that I'm going to make it a sweet chili um, salmon. I'm going to put a little glaze on top of it. Um, when I'm done, when it's almost done, I'm going to glaze it a little bit and then let it um, just just uh, grill on there a little bit more. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Easter. Happy Easter. feels really, really strange in the world right now because we're not able to get out and go anywhere. But I don't mean any harm, but I, I'm enjoying these days at home. You love Cabbage Kanye, Me too. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Cherie. Hey, Wanda Watts. How are you? Looking forward to we, when we can get out so I can get a new date to be on your show, sis. Can't wait for it. I was looking at my calendar and said, oh, I was supposed to have been on Wanda's show <laughs> yesterday. And I was like, oh, man. So looking forward to a new calendar date when we get off of, when we get out of jail. We get out, get out, get out of jail free cards. <laughs> I always said we waiting on our get out of jail free card. Hey, Jermaine, how are you? Happy Easter, everybody. Just showing some healthy cooking again. Um, I have a piece of salmon that's cooking right now. It's not done yet. It's just... Just starting to sizzle. Um, I use my avocado oil as my base for both of my pans. I just sprayed it down. Avocado oil is better. For anybody who watches my um, cooking videos, you know that I always warn against cooking with olive oil, like the extra virgin olive oil that you pour out of the, out of the glass bottle. Do not do that because when it gets to certain temperatures, it becomes toxic. So it defeats the purpose of you trying to eat healthy if you are cooking with olive oil, not the olive oil cooking spray, there's a different composition. I'm talking about olive oil that is meant to be like the extra virgin uh, olive oil that you pour out of the uh, bottle. Do not try to fry or cook with that. That is to be used in its raw form and, and glazed over your food or put on your salad or, or put on top of your bread or whatever you're going to use it for. But it is not meant to be used for cooking. It becomes toxic. So it defeats the purpose of trying to eat healthy, okay? Hey, hey, Michelle. Hi, Shawnee White. Hey, Tiara. Hey, Michelle. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Easter. I'm stir-frying some cabbage. So it's really getting going now. You can see the steam always comes up in my face, but this is the best angle for my camera so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Belinda. Hey, Margo. How are you? Happy Easter. I hope everybody is enjoying their day. Tell me in the feed who, who, um, who got dressed up. <laughs> Who wore that Easter outfit today, y'all? I got up and put a dress on and some makeup and did my hair. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm just coming in the kitchen to cook for y'all. That's all I'm doing. 
And I got my, my little, my white wine right here. That's about it. Got me a little Riesling. Got my music in the background. I was just chilling. I did get out and get a little sunlight on my deck this morning. The little bit that we have today. It's not a whole lot of sunlight, but I at least went out there so I could get a little bit of vitamin D so I can keep my mood elevated. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Teddy Coates. How are you? Yeah, so, um, while, Kanye, are you talking about the olive oil? The tip about the olive oil, not cooking with extra virgin olive oil? Yeah, you never want to cook with, with the virgin olive oil if that's what you're saying wow about. Yeah, it becomes toxic, so it defeats the purpose. So if you're not using cooking spray, the cooking spray of the olive oil, you don't want to just take the oil out of the bottle and pour it into your pan and start frying or cooking or whatever. It's, it's defeating the purpose because it becomes toxic in our body. So you don't want to use that. You don't want to use that. Sorry, guys. Had a call coming in. I'm sorry. Yeah, so you don't want to use that um, for cooking, okay? If you're going to use something, the best thing is olive uh, avocado oil. They do sell uh, um, avocado oil in in the grocery stores, like Giant and everything like that. And you can get that in the um, in the bottle just like you do your uh, your olive. I mean, your olive oil. You can get the avocado oil in the in the uh, bottle just like that so i use the uh the avocado oil spray pam has uh, pam has everything pam has the butter one the olive oil one they have it all uh you made cabbage this morning oh yeah good stuff yes hey denise how are you hey george yes right it's good to know right they don't teach us this stuff they don't tell us all of that and then we're sitting here killing ourselves we think we're doing something good for our health and we're not we're sitting there um we're sitting there hurting ourselves. I'm sorry, guys. Text messages and calls coming through. It's Easter. People want to say happy Easter. You know how that goes. <laughs> Who is that? Carol Burrell. Hi, Carol. How are you, moms? And so um, so I have my salmon cooking. I just flipped it over. I'll show it to you once I add the glaze and all. I'll show it to you once the front is the top side is done a little more. The cabbage is still going. And you see how it shrunk down. When I first started, it was all the way at the top, right? Busting over. Hey, KP. How are you? Thanks for tuning in. Cooking a piece of salmon, stir frying some cabbage, and then I'm taking the easy route out, guys. I'm cheating the day for the um, rice. <laughs> I'm not boiling rice. I'm going to do this, but these are really a really good option. Steam fresh. So I'm still eating healthy. It's brown, um, whole grain brown rice. And then remember I had uh, cooked yesterday, I mean a couple days ago with some quinoa, and I was demonstrating how to cook with quinoa. Well, I had some quinoa left over, so I'm going to warm that up, and I'm going to mix it with this whole grain brown rice, okay? This takes like four to six minutes to cook, so if you've ever seen these in the, in the grocery store, it's, these, are, these are really, really good. I love them. And it's less than a gram of sugar in this, so it's not like some of your other frozen processed foods. This is whole grain rice, so it's still healthy. Um, for the whole bag, it's 500 calories. I'm not going to eat this whole bag. It'll probably take me a couple of settings to eat it, so... Really good, only less than a gram of um, sugar, and it has six grams of protein in it. So it's really good. So I save that until the end. I, I save that all the way till the end, and then I pop that in the microwave, and then I put everything else on top of it. And I put, I'll put the quinoa in with it um, once it gets done. That's what I do. So that'll be my meal for the day. Let's see. Our salmon is getting black in here. I'm going to put a little glaze on the salmon. Today I'm going to make a sweet chili salmon. So I'm going to use this sauce here. You can get it in all your grocery stores. Hey, Tierra, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. Happy Easter to you, sis. Happy Easter. So I know everybody saw the, um, saw my post the other day. I've just been adventuring into some other areas. I had already signed up for my classes to do my... Um, to be able to do... The body contouring. I had already signed up for that just a little bit prior to um, when all this mess had just started happening. When the cases just started coming out in March, that was when I had signed up for the course. But then I said, you know what, now is the time that I had to really pour into the business, making sure I'm getting my EIN and all that good stuff, and making sure I'm setting up the business properly. Hey, Francis. Happy Easter. Hey, Donna. Hicks, how are you, sis? Just doing some healthy cooking. It doesn't stop just because it's it's Easter, right? So I'm stir-frying some cabbage. 
and I am blackening a piece of salmon and I'm making it sweet, a sweet chili glaze on top of it. So I'll show you that in a sec. Here, so there we go. I already put the glaze on. Now the glaze is just getting done. My salmon is really already done. Hope you guys can see that. You said show the bottle of the glaze again. Is it the glaze that you want to see the bottle of again? Is that what you want, Dell? You want this to sweet? That's the sweet chili glaze. Hey, Cheryl. Happy birthday, sis. Hey, Dana Melvin. How are you? I see you, bro. I see you still doing your fitness and personal training. Kudos to you. Oh, I'm inspiring you good. I'm glad I can inspire somebody. That's what it's all about. If my healthy transformation can inspire anybody, then I've done my job, right? That's what it's all about. You know, each one of us helping one more person. If we can just help one person, then we're doing our jobs, right? Show the salmon again. I'll probably flip it one more time. So, that's the salmon. So the salmon is done, actually. It only takes a couple minutes for that. I don't know if you can see that with my onions on the side. So literally, just a little seasoning, blacken the salmon, and then take a little bit of glaze. It's sweet chili glaze. I just, I just drizzle it over it. Don't go crazy with it, okay? Again, I'm just going to show you guys some, some other alternatives you have in cabbage today. Yum. Happy Easter. Thank you. Thank you. So some alternatives to table salt, just your regular salt. Your Himalayan pink salt. This one comes with black pepper and garlic, so you're getting everything all at once. But your Himalayan pink salt is going to be way better. You got avocado oil spray, but it also comes in a bottle as well. Okay, I'm going to turn my fan on. There we go. I'll put it on low so you can still hear me. Um, and then I use ground turmeric on everything just to get that immunity, <laughs> boost that immune system up a little bit. And then sometimes I use this butcher's blend. And they have different ones that you can use. But it's really good. I love it because it's already mixed in. I don't have to have a whole bunch of bottles out here on the uh, on the stove or on the countertop or anything like that. And then, um, what else did I get this week? I got some jerk seasoning this week because I'm going to jerk some shrimp. <laughs> hey, Sarah, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Stell, thanks for tuning in. Love your Himalayan pink salt. Yes. And your coarse blood. Yes, honey. Yes. Your food can still taste good. Tierra Booker is another one who can give us some really, really good tips on healthy cooking. I remember I participated in an, an event that she did at Nordstrom's, and there was a young lady there who was teaching us about um, who was teaching us about healthy cooking and and using things like the pink Himalayan salt instead of using ta regular table salt. The sodium content is way, way less. I know you guys can't see me with the steam. My cabbage is going over here, <laughs> but it's all right. You're getting the message. And then again, we're going to have some whole grain um, brown rice. And then I'm going to take some leftover quinoa that I cooked. Pam comes in the bottle too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sure does come in a bottle. And that avocado oil comes in a bottle. Just like your olive oil comes in a bottle, you can get an avocado oil in a bottle. It's a little more expensive, but guess what? It's more expensive to take pills and be in the hospital and seeing your doctor every week. That's more expensive. So I don't want to hear people saying, oh, it's oh, it's too expensive to eat healthy. Y'all got me a juicer. Y'all got me a juicer. I'm so excited. Me and moms was testing out the juicer yesterday. So I did spinach, lemon, and, and Granny Smith apples. And it was so delicious. My mom loved it. My mom, like, she tests anything that I've cooked. <laughs> she doesn't care. She will try anything. She'd be like, I'll try it. <laughs> That's what I love. And then she's like, oh, that was, that was good. So she's like my taste tester and lets me know when, you know, hey, it, it could use less lemon or it could use this. But she said it was delicious. She drunk hers down before me. Hey, Monica, I loved your challenge today, sis. I loved your challenge that you had. Hey, have you guys registered for my upcoming um, virtual seminar? Love for self, love for self. If you've been watching my page at all, you will see that I have been... Um, posting every day it's not just because i love taking pictures of myself okay i've been posting every day gearing up for the love for self virtual summit so i want i want to challenge everybody today for east to take a picture of yourself and just use the hashtag love for self love for self hey haki how are you brother happy easter everybody um take a picture of yourself just relaxing chilling eating a healthy meal just use the hashtag love for self so next wednesday 
from 7 to 9 p.m. Myself along with seven other um, professionals, we're all going to be talking about love for self from changing your mindset and the way that you think about yourself. How, even talking about the worth. How Do you feel worthy of loving yourself? Because if you don't know how to love yourself, nobody else will. You said, yum, let me know if you plan to do celery juice. I am doing celery juice, girl. I got my recipes. Yes. Hey, Joe Madden. Stell, she says she'll do it today. Let's see. Stell says she stopped buying the regular white salt. Yes. About 10 years ago. Yeah, your grandma has you changing your foods when you had your first daughter yeah it's been a beautiful it is it's a beautiful thing and it becomes a lifestyle like literally like when i try to cheat i can't even cheat right y'all it's crazy <laughs> remember i told you i put a little bit of soy sauce in my cabbage that's it i just drizzle it all over there put a little bit of there hey janice how are you so anyway if you if you guys have not registered for the love for self virtual seminar coming up this Wednesday. It's myself along with eight other professionals. We have Cheryl Wood, Delana Watkins. We have Darius um, White. We have, I hope I didn't mess up his last name. I think it's White. Darius White. We have Dwayne Williams. We have Latalia Palmer, Evelise Jones from Atlanta. And we're all just going to be pouring in on our specific areas. We're going to even be talking about, I'm going to switch this over so you guys can see me a little more. There we go. We'll switch the burners. <laughs> I'm learning, right? I gotta get that away from me. So there's the blackened salmon, guys. Blackened salmon is done. Glazed with sweet chili. But yeah, go to let, um, loveforself.eventbrite.com. Loveforself.eventbrite.com. And you can register, and it's free. It's a virtual seminar. It's two hours. We're going to start with everybody introducing themselves, letting you know about their greatness. And then after that, each of them is going to have a, a certain segment where they're going to talk. from mind. We're going to start with mindset because everything starts in the mind. So shifting your mindset about the way you think about yourself, about, um, about the way that you love on yourself, about making sure that you are performing self-care. Don't talk about it. Be about it, right? And we all say, oh, I love me some me, but are you really displaying that you love yourself by the way that you treat yourself and the way that you allow others to treat you. So we dictate how others treat us because they only treat you the way you allow them to, okay? So how are you allowing others to treat you? So we're going to get we're going to get in the, into the juicy juicy. George says um you said what about that other one says I know table salt gives that. Um yes, but remember our food gives us everything we need. Our food gives us everything that we need. Um, George says, have you thought about giving us an estimated calorie count or do you have time? Um, remember your fruit and your vegetables are going to be less calories. Okay. So when I'm eating vegetable or fruit based, I don't worry as much. Um, I know that I don't go over 1500 calories a day. I know I don't. Um, I forget how much the salmon, how much the calorie count was on my salmon. I looked it up before. I'm going I'm going to look again. I um George, I will work on that for the next ones and I can let you know the calories, but the cabbage, the only calories that's in my cabbage is the seasonings that I added in. That's it. So, this soy sauce, I put about 2 tablespoons, that's 20 calories for my cabbage. Other than that, no calories for the cabbage. No calories for the avocado oil. Um calories off of my sauce that I drizzled over top of my salmon. It's 30 calories for a tablespoon. So um, so about 30 more calories. So we're talking about, what, 50 calories so far? That's nothing just out of that. And then I think the salmon is somewhere between 250 and 350, somewhere around there. So you still are having a meal that's really, really low in calories. And let me tell you about the rice. Let's see. So if I eat this whole bag of rice, which I'm not going to eat this whole bag of rice, this whole bag of rice will be 500 calories. I'm not eating this whole bag of rice to myself. So I know I probably won't. If I eat half of it, which I doubt it because I put very... I typically do two tablespoons of starch. If I'm going to have starch, I do two tablespoons, which is nothing. So three quarters of a cup is what they're saying equals 250. So I don't even do a half a cup. I normally do two tablespoons. So this is very low calorie. I mean, like if you get 500, 600 calories out of the whole meal, maybe... But I don't even think I'm going to reach that. Honestly, I don't even think I'll get to that, to 600 calories. Your doctor keeps stressing not worrying about calories as long as I'm eating clean, fresh, right, dried herbs, fruits, and veggies. Yes, avoiding, yes, avoid the processed foods. That's what uh, my girl Delana always talks about, that crap. 
that chemically refined, altered, processed foods that are already pre-packaged. I mean, like I said, I know that rice is pre-packaged, but that's one of the fresh things that you can steam, because that's why they call it steamable. I mean, steam fresh. It's by bird's eye, steam fresh. So this is not considered, you know, processed, even though it's frozen, but it's it's fresh rice that they just froze, and you can put it in, the, you can just steam it in the microwave. So I'm talking about things like, um, I'm talking about like prep meals, meals that the whole meal, all you have to do is stick it, stick it in there. It's, it's uh, full of sugar and sodium and all that kind of stuff. So my cabbage is actually done. Um, it's done. I'm going to let it keep on frying because I like mine to have a little bit of like crispy ends. <laughs> I like, I like mine a little bit burnt a little bit. I know. Call me crazy. You're welcome, George, but I'll work on that. I'll start making sure that I include the calories. Um, but yeah, this is this is not a high calorie meal at all. Um, diabetics eat at least 1500 calories every day So I try to stay 1500 or less a day I try to eat like I'm diabetic even though I'm not and that's that's a good way But the way that you cut your calories is by cutting your starch your meat and your vegetables not where you're getting your calories from You're getting your calories from the starch from sweets from those drinks that are car that, that, are, that are full of carbs and sugar So like I don't drink juices. I don't drink soda at all I drink water. I do get it in with my wine, y'all. I, <laughs> I do drink my wine. Let me show y'all my wine today. This is my wine today. I'm drinking Riesling called Kiana. Kiana Vineyards. It's a Columbia Valley Riesling. That's what I'm drinking today for my wine. But yeah, done is done. That's it. All I have to do is just stick this in the microwave. Well, it should be done in a couple minutes. And then I'm going to add my quinoa. And that's it. You're welcome, George. Anytime, anytime. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Just cooking up something healthy for Easter. Happy Easter to you. Just did some stir-fried cabbage. Let me show you the cabbage, too. I didn't show you guys the cabbage. But here's the salmon, blackened salmon, and then I drizzled it on top um, with some sweet chili sauce. And then I stir-fried cabbage. And it's, this is the quick way where you don't have to boil your cabbage. Plus, it keeps all your nutrients and everything in your cabbage. So you're not you're not drowning it with water so you know when you put your some people add water to their cabbage when they boil it you really don't need to do that if you just put cabbage cabbage it, it draws its own water off of it so most vegetables all vegetables really have their own water source so you don't need to add water to them if you just put them and let them cook slowly you'll see water will consume in the pot or the pan on its own so that's it and then I'm gonna put my rice I told you I'm cheating today I'm not boiling the rice I'm gonna use this steam the steam fresh um, whole grain brown rice. Gonna add my quinoa. My quinoa, I know. My sister hates quinoa. So I'm gonna add that to the rice. That was my leftover quinoa from the other day. And so I'm gonna add that to my rice and get my sources of protein, get my antioxidants, get my minerals that I need, get my fiber that I need. That quinoa is an amazing, amazing super grain, guys. It's amazing. If you have never tried quinoa you have to try it I put it in my um what I put it in the other day was my oatmeal and it was really good you can put it in your yogurt you can put it um basically in anything if you like cream of wheat cereals whatever you can put it in, I put it in my rice a lot you can put it in your pasta I don't like it as much in my pasta I like it more mixed in with rice because because a rice is a grain already so I typically will put it with that all right so I'm putting my rice in I'm going to do 430 and start it. You don't have to punch any holes in it, anything. It's that's it. That's all you do. And there we go. Now my now my um cabbage has that little crispy burnt edges that I like it. <laughs> so that's it. Dinner is done. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Easter. What'd you say, Danita? Only wild caught salmon. Um, I, I mean I'm I, I'm I'm pescatarian, so I eat different kinds, but that's my favorite. Um, I don't I don't really particularly like the sockeye salmon as much as I like the wild caught, but I don't I don't I don't really care <laughs> honestly. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I'm I'm okay even if it's if it's both kinds. Like sometimes my husband has made a mistake and bought the wrong one, and I still ate it. So whatever whatever you like, you know it's it's a better. Remember, it's all about changing your options and eating healthier. So. That's better than a burger, right? That's better than McDonald's. So I don't care what kind of salmon you eat. Whatever you like. Whatever floats your taste buds, right? So everybody, don't forget to sign up for our Love for Self Virtual Summit. It's coming up this Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m.
we have myself and seven other um, entrepreneurs who is going to be talking about self-love, self-worth, talking about love for self. Um, we even have Natalia Palmer who's going to be talking about how she started to love herself again after she had a mastectomy, guys. So we're going to be talking about everything. Sometimes illness can take you out of your normal element and it makes you feel less than what you are. But we have to continue to love ourselves no matter what. Whether our hair is falling out, whether our hair is messed up. Nobody can go to the hairdressers right now. Everybody don't know how to do their hair and dye it up like me. <laughs> Secret, y'all. I used to do I used to do some hair in my kitchen. I used to be a kitchen, kitchen beautician back in the day, y'all. I used to have a client base, too. That's the funny part. But I hate doing my own hair because it's so thick and it takes so long to dry. And I got to do all that. Yeah, I need to stay away from the steam because I'm natural. <laughs> My mess will be poofing out. Hey, see you night. How are you? Thanks for tuning in, sis. I'm wrapping up, but just to show you again, you thought you thought farm raised was bad. Thanks. Enjoy. Like I'm saying, it's, it's, it's like this. We're talking about replacing the bad with the good. So if, if all you can get your hand on is a farm raised piece of salmon over a McDonald's burger, then take, take, the, uh, <laughs> take the farm raised salmon. <laughs> That's my that's my whole motto. It's all about making better choices. That's a better choice than eating something else. So I did get my hands on some um I did get my hands on some breakfast patties, y'all, that are not um that are plant-based. Ooh, y'all. Breakfast patties that are plant-based, y'all. I love it. So it's it's by um pure farmland. So I'll let you know how they are. This is my first time buying them. I've never um, bought them before. Hey, Daryl, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. So I got my hands on some of those. I went to the store yesterday. And then, I think last week I demonstrated grilling burgers that are plant-based burgers. So these were really good, guys. I said I was going to let you know how these were. They were delicious. I was like, oh, my God, I love Beyond Meat. Yeah, you love those too? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Janice loves those too. But this is Laura's um, plant-based um, burgers. And they are really good. I put them on the grill. I put cheese on top. You get two in a pack. They're expensive. It's like $6 for two burgers, right? Six, I think 6 or $7, something like that. Might, might even be $8. I don't know. But, you know, we pay for what we want, right? So if, you, if you're looking for another brand other than Beyond Meat, this was a good brand. I was happy with this. I bought them again. This is my second time buying these because I grilled them and they were really delicious. All right. Just to show you guys some other options. Want some meatballs? There you go. Garden. Meatballs. Plant-based meatballs. Already done. If I feel like I want that pasta, I want that meat, I want that meatball. I'm not a meat eater. I haven't eaten beef or pork in over 10 years. So that's not a craving that I have. But sometimes I'm like, I get tired of eating just shrimp and fish. So I'm like, oh, let me find another way. So this makes me feel like I have more variety in my diet. Okay. Hi, Miss Webster. How are you? Hey, um, hey, Uzoma. How are you? So this is just another option. So my rice is beeping. So let me show you guys that. And I'm not even going to warm up the, um, you said, where did I get those from? The burgers. I got those plant-based burgers from Giant, actually. Just go over in the section where you would normally buy your beef and it's right beside it okay it's a really tiny section when I tell you that the plant-based like <laughs> unburger and unmeat section is so tiny guys it is like one little slither of a, of, of a section so this is my my steam rice my whole grain brown rice all right so the steam fresh that's the that's it by, by bird's eye delicious four minutes is done and then I'm gonna add my quinoa to it and I'm gonna let the steam from off of it see that nice and then I'm gonna take some of this some of the quinoa and spoon it in okay everything else is done I've turned everything off guys you're allergic to tree nuts oh okay all right Thank God I'm not allergic to anything. <laughs> not not much of anything. Not as far as food that I know of. So again, quinoa, adding it to my whole grain brown rice. It's just going to add some protein. It's going to add some 
some um, minerals. It's going to add my phosphorus, my potassium, my fiber. It's going to give me antioxidants. It's going to give me prebiotics. So it's good for your gut and everything. So just, just make purposeful movements about what you're ingesting, okay? So literally, I added about three tablespoons. And you can see the little dots of the quinoa over there. And it's warming up from the rice. I didn't even have to put the quinoa back in the... Um, in the microwave but quinoa can be used over and over it's not it, it doesn't i've never seen it go bad honestly um if it goes bad somebody tell me but i've never seen it. it's a grain it's a super grain they call it a superfood super grain whichever one you want to call it because it has so many benefits it even helps you with weight loss um so it's a good thing happy easter everybody that just joined that i that i missed and you didn't hear me say happy easter happy easter to you so healthy eating is a way of life for me I don't just switch it up. Here's my blackened salmon with my sweet chili glaze that I put on top of it. Everything cooked with my avocado cooking spray. And here is my stir fried cabbage. All done with a little drizzle of, um, with a little bit of, of less sodium soy sauce because I like that little zing to mine. Um, and I used my butcher's blend seasoning to put on top of my salmon and for my cabbage I use the Himalayan uh, pink salt with black pepper and garlic okay one more question sure George let's see um thank you Miss Webster um you happen to run into this the other day and it keeps popping up is this basically for women just asking last question no absolutely not healthy eating is for everybody no 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 my my target audience for my business total harmony enterprises my, that's my target audience but my message is applicable to everyone all of us can benefit from loving on ourselves Our, everybody can benefit from healthy cooking no it's not just for women um, we welcome the men to take a part because you know, if you're in our life, you need to know how how to take care of yourself so you can be around for us, right? Hey, Keith, how are you? You missed the cooking demo. <laughs> hey, Diane, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. So I did some salmon and I glazed it with sweet um, chili. I did some whole grain brown rice with quinoa mixed in it and some stir fried cabbage. Okay, so dinner is ready. And I'm not sure how long I've been on here. But dinner is ready, and that's it. And of course, I got my I got my bottle of Riesling because I like to cook with my wine. I got my my good music in the background. So, thanks everybody. How you guys sleeping? Hey Daisy, how are you? How's everybody sleeping these days? I've been hearing a lot of people saying they're having problems sleeping. So I'm gonna give you a quick what's for dessert? Oh, I don't I don't do desserts, honey. If I do dessert, it's gonna be some fruit. It's gonna be my wine is my dessert. There you go. <laughs> My wine is my dessert. That's my sugar right there. So I don't typically do desserts. Um, by the time I finish eating healthy, I'm full. Honestly, I'm too full to be eating dessert. But if I do, let me show you something when I get that craving like that. Where I'm like, oh, I want some sugar. I need something good. You, you're going to trip with this because it's so good. Oh, my God. This right here. Briars, no sugar added ice cream. Y'all done had this too long. I probably need to throw it out because I done had it too long because I don't eat. It's 110 calories per serving. Um, and it's only four grams of sugar. So that is amazing. But remember, I, I do 10 grams or less of sugar. So if I'm doing 10 grams or less of sugar, am I going to waste four on that ice cream? You know what I mean? You was kidding because of my famous pies. Oh, yeah. Oh, girl, when it comes time for, you know, the holidays now, I do eat sweet potato pie. That's my that's my curse. <laughs> But I bake them myself, so I know what's in them. But yeah, that's, that's, if I'm going to cheat a little bit, this really isn't cheating, but it tastes delicious. It's only four grams of sugar and 110 calories per two thirds of a cup. So I normally get my fix. <laughs> I normally get my fix with like a tablespoon or two at the most. Uh, and that's it. Hey, um, hey, Eric, how are you? Hey, Marla. Hey, Donya. Happy Easter to you guys. Oh, yeah, I'll be baking pies soon. Hey, Sunita, you haven't slept that well. Yeah, been going to bed around 2 to 3 a.m. That's everybody's sleep cycle is off. So let me give you a couple tips real quick while I'm on here. I'm going to step outside because now I'm hot because I've been cooking. All that steam got me hot, y'all. <laughs> so a couple tips you can do to help you sleep at night. So first of all, you want to stop 
eating and drinking any kind of alcoholic beverages at least an hour before you go to bed, okay? Don't take work to bed. When you go to your place of sleep, make sure that you're purposefully going in there with the intention of going to bed. See, because our bodies, our minds can psych us out, right? So if you are going in your bedroom and you you going in your bedroom and you, you know, get on the phone or you're getting on the computer and you start working, then, you're, then your brain is going to say, oh, this is her turn up place. This is the work spot. Okay. I'm ready to work. Hey, Stacy Johnson. Hey, Alicia. I'm talking about sleep right now. You guys missed the cooking demo, so go back and make sure you watch the cooking demo. Um, but right now, we're just talking about sleep and some things that people are really going through mm -hmm. and suffering with during this quarantine. So sleep is a big, big one. So just make sure that when you're going into your place of sleep, number one, it needs to be a dark cool environment dark and cool so i sleep with a fan and i had a ceiling fan whipping and i just snuggle up under the blankets right <laughs> because that cool environment helps you to breathe better mm -hmm. it's going to help you to just get, get more rest if you're hot you're going to be waking up um your body releases hormones like melatonin when you sleep so make sure that you are taking your cell phone light T take your cell phone either turn it off or turn it face down where the light that that ambient light from it doesn't interfere with your melatonin absorption okay so any light at all, if you got a light that's just shining in the window from the street light outside, you need to do something like put, put up a, something to block that light because light interferes with your melatonin absorption. I hear some people saying they're taking melatonin. Honestly, you don't need melatonin um, because your body automatically generates melatonin, which, which is for sleep. You, it, it releases while you're sleeping. Happy Easter, everybody. Hey, Patrice, how are you? Um, so that's one thing. Make sure that you're sleeping in a dark, cool environment. Um, have some circulation. I don't know if you know this or not, but oxygen is a non-pharmacological source of oxygen. A fan, I'm sorry. Fan is a non-pharmacological source of oxygen. So it helps to enhance your breathing experience. So if you're breathing better, you're sleeping better, especially for somebody who may have sleep apnea or things like that, and you don't want to wear that BiPAP or CPAP machine, put, put a fan on and see if that helps you. Um, another thing you can do before going to bed, again, stop eating and stop drinking, especially alcohol. Um, make sure you stop all that at least an hour before you go to bed. Why? Because your body still has to digest it. Your body still tries to metabolize it, even though you're sleeping. So you're going to get awakened by your body trying to metabolize it. So you're going to wake up in the middle of the night if you're drinking late and things like that. And you go to bed right after you're drinking. Eggs, a boiled egg. So that's another way that you can help yourself to get sleep. And I probably need to be doing a, lot, a whole live on this, right? But um, boiled eggs actually have melatonin metabolites in them. Boiled eggs. So if you want to increase your melatonin um, levels, eat a boiled egg like an hour before you go to bed. It's going to do the same thing that melatonin does, help you to relax, help you to just even out. Um, it actually, like a boiled egg has the same kind of chemical in it. Like if you know how when you eat turkey on Thanksgiving... <laughs> And you get the itis. That's the same thing that happens when you eat a boiled egg because it has the same chemical in it, okay? Um, it's an amino acid also that gets released in like turkey and, and protein and things like that. So peanut butter. Eat some scoops of peanut butter. The protein in the peanut butter is going to make you a little drowsy just like meat if you eat a heavy meal. Not sleeping the best some nights either, and you already had months of insomnia before this pandemic. Oh, so you're really suffering. Does melatonin decrease with age, I heard? It can. Everybody's different. Everybody is different. Some, some, some of my patients are on melatonin, and it really hasn't made a big difference. <laughs> Most people that are taking the supplement, I have not seen a big difference, honestly. They, they end up, we end up taking them off because we don't see a big, big difference from it. I, I would say some, maybe somebody younger may have better absorption of it. I'm not sure, but um, you can. I would do natural things like, like you said, like we talked about, like eating a boiled egg, eating some peanut butter, making sure you're having that cool, warm environment, um, making sure that you are not taking work to bed, making sure that when you go into your place of sleep, I had to make sure my stove was off, guys. I don't want to burn my dinner <laughs> while I'm running my mouth. Um, making sure that you are actually going to get rest, making sure that you are, you know, positioning yourself properly in bed with the pillows where they need to be you know put a pillow between your knees that helps oh peanut butter yeah peanut butter but make sure you eat it at least an hour before you, you go to bed you can also drink soothing teas like your chamomile your lavender teas they even have sleepy time tea mm -hmm. you can do that and that's going to help to calm you relax you you can use your diff you can use your diffuser and put some essential oils also in your diffuser so that you're, you're getting that enhancement of your sleep by having lavender blasting in the room in the air and chamomile and and all your other relaxing calming um oils essential oils and what else um for sleep uh 
making sure your pillows are not too high or too low. Like, you know, you know, you ever had that crook in your neck. You're like, oh my goodness, you know, having, having that optimal rest. The best way to sleep is on your side with a pillow between your knees. That's the best way to sleep. Um, it keeps your spine aligned and everything like that. So those are just a couple tips. You forgot about your sleepy time tea. Yeah, sleepy time tea is really good. That helps a lot. But just a lot of times people think, oh, let me drink a glass of wine or let me um, drink some alcohol and I'll be sleepy and they'll put me to sleep. No, you're, you're going to wake up in the middle of the night because your body's still trying to metabolize it, trying to absorb that alcohol. So stop drinking at least an hour before you're going to go to bed. Um, don't turn the TV on. The TV, remember, light interferes with melatonin absorption. If you leave that light on and then you're going to sleep, your body's still, your brain is still trying to process. Oh my God, what, what is the, What are they saying? What unconsciously you're still listening to the TV? You still try. Your brain's still trying to process. Your brain's still working, and you think, oh, okay, I just forgot to turn TV off. No, it's not that simple. So a lot of people don't even have TVs in their room anymore, and that's really, really good. For a long time, I did not have a TV in my room, um, but I don't typically have problems sleeping. <laughs> Because I, I do so much that by the time I lay down, it's like my body's like, thank you, Lord, she didn't took a break. And then I just go right to sleep in five minutes. But um, it's also noted that if you are having problems going to sleep, don't just stay there in the bed. Get up, maybe go do something else, and then come back and try again. Don't just lay there for like hours at a time trying to say, okay, let me go to sleep. No, just get up. If you, if you find you're having a really, really hard time going to sleep, get up out of the bed, go do something else, and then come back and try to try again. But turn that TV off. Turn those. Oh, your hubby swears by it. Swears he needs a TV. I'm telling you. Does, it, as long as he is, does he turn it off? If he if he doesn't turn it off, he's actually interfering with his melatonin absorption because of that light. I even cover up the um the cable light because that little blue light from the cable box can interfere with your melatonin absorption. It needs to be dark cool environment hey nicole how you doing i saw you cooking it up this morning girl um miss webster says i don't want to mess up your first name that's why i call you calling you miss webster okay <laughs> i think it's castina 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 um she says she gave up the tv in her room too but her phone is her tv in her room yeah so typically like don't go don't go in your room until you know you're ready to go to bed that's a practice that we all need to do. Because how many times, especially as entrepreneurs, we, we go in the room and we got the computer in our lap, download the sleep app, it has a timer too. Yeah, that's a good idea too. And you know, actually, I listen to megahertz on YouTube. Like if I am having some problems sleeping, um, then what I do is I play megahertz on YouTube. And they have different ones. One for anxiety, one for sleep, one for stress management. So I use that. Also, you have the Calm app. You can also use the apps for like waterfalls and things like that. That's going to help to soothe and relax you and get you ready for sleep. But yeah, he needs to turn that TV off. <laughs> he he just likes, what did you, what did you say? Um, he leaves it on to fall asleep. Oh, okay. So... Do you turn it off after he goes to sleep? <laughs> so my husband was the same way. He used to always have to have the TV on, but I got him out of that. Um, because I was like, you interfere with my sleep now. Hey, hey, Jermon, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. Um, I did the cooking demo, but now we're just talking about sleep. A lot of people have been having problems sleeping with, you know, just the uncertainty in the, um, in, in the world, the inconsistencies that's going on in the world with this coronavirus and people dying and friends and loved ones. Like, I have friends that has it, y'all. So, like, it's, it's crazy. Thank God, you know, that they are doing better now, but... Oh, I pronounced your name right? Oh, good, good. Girl, I know a little bit, a little bit. Hooked on phonics worked for me. <laughs> Yeah, so just talking about some sleep, like sleep is imperative. That's when you're not sleeping, you are directly affecting your immune system. Your your body is not rested, then you know you're more susceptible to getting infections and viruses and everything else. Your body needs rest. You you are a fine tuned machine, just like your computers. You know, if you never ever shut your computer down, you just let it run, run, run all night, all day, and it never it will get overheated, right? Your phones too. You, you ever you ever felt your phone? You're like, oh my god, my phone is so hot because you got too many apps open and all this. Same thing with your brain. You got too many apps open. You need to rest. You need to lay down. You need to rejuvenate. You need to make sure that you are getting proper rest. You need to let those hormones in your body be released by resting so that you can feel recharged, rejuvenated, rebooted, reset, whatever re you want to be. You, we got to make sure we're taking better care of ourselves, okay? Especially now. Especially now. 
because it, it's a crazy time in the world. Hey, Jerry Booker, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Tammy, you missed the cooking demo, Tammy, but you can re you can rewind it. I did um some salmon with some sweet chili glaze and some stir fried cabbage and some whole grain um brown rice with quinoa, and that was the meal for today. So I was saying, just because it's a holiday, I don't switch it up. I stay consistent with eating healthy. Um, that's how I'd release the 41 pounds I done released so far. I got about another 10, 15 that I really, really want to release. Um, I've been doing pretty good since I've been home. I haven't been eating crazy and all that good stuff. So stick to your routines as much as possible. Y'all see, I'm dressed up with nowhere to go. I got on the dress. Y'all, I'm all dressed up. Nowhere to go. <laughs> I got up, combed my hair. I did one of those challenges today. Somebody invited me to do the nurse challenge, the don't rush challenge. So I had my hair all pin curled and all this. I had a bandana on my head and all that. So I started off with that and then I'll, you'll see it though. When it comes out, you'll see it. Um, and then we're passing a stethoscope. So I'm looking forward to seeing the end result. And then we got cute and all that kind of stuff. So um, I, I engaged in that. You said sometimes you turn the TV off while he's in the basement up late watching TV. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I do the same thing, girl. I'll go, I'll go upstairs. I'll be like, I'm shutting it down. Like the TV, I can't do the noise. I need it quiet. I need it real serene for me to go to sleep. Hey, Zakia, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. But I'm gonna shut it down, y'all. So my fasting is over. You know, I do intermittent fasting. If you haven't picked up our book yet, it's called Release the Weight Without the Weight. Um, a quick guide to uh, sugarless living and intermittent fasting. You can get it on my website, totalharmonyenterprises.com. It's an ebook. It's only $11. And it just walks you through everything that I did in order to release the 41 pounds that I've released so far. And just start me on my journey for healthier living, healthier eating. You know, it's going to benefit everything. It's going to benefit your skin. It's going to benefit your body. It's going to benefit your overall health. Health. So it's imperative. The older we get, the more we have to take care of ourselves. Because, I mean, just look, we might not have all of these bits that they have right now, right? <laughs> the way of the world right now. You know, we're 30 days into this. Can't avoid, uh, people can't avoid, uh, afford their, um, their mortgages and stuff already. So it's, get, it's getting real. It's getting real. So we got to be safe. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. Smooches, I'll see you next time for my next cooking video. If you didn't catch it from the beginning, please rewind and take a look and share it out to somebody who's trying to change their eating habits and uh, live a healthier lifestyle. Have a good day.